Hey guys, welcome back to Just Fixing Garage. I'm Justin. Today we're gonna have an SRT4 update on things that are coming into the shop, things that I've got, and where we currently are. So today we're gonna be looking at, uh, I don't know if you can see the box behind me right there. Uh, I've got a nice new box there. That should be my transmission from FWD Performance. I think they're based out of uh, Texas. I worked with Cindy a lot, um, and they were able to help me figure out what trans I should go with and what it got built. So I'm gonna unbox it, because I actually haven't done that yet, take a look at it. And then I'm gonna go over all the things that makes this transmission better than, you know, say my stock one, which if you are familiar, here is my stock trans that I um, chose to keep because it's actually a good trans from an 03 that I'm probably gonna use in my budget build. And then of course this box is my uh, new one. So I'm gonna get started. So if you wanna check this out, talk about this expensive, but really good transmission. I'll go into the details in a minute. So let's get started. All right guys, so again, I've had this for almost a month now and I haven't unboxed it. It's 145 pounds. So I'm finally gonna check it out. Hopefully it arrived in good shape as I haven't checked and Cindy did ask me to check it. So let's see. So 145 pounds is stopping from having to do freight shipping. Yeah. Anything under 150. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. Look at all this box. My God, they weren't kidding. Oh my gosh, is that wrapped in a blanket? Check that out. <laughs> wow. It's got pillows and all. Wait. I got free pillows. <laughs> oh, check that out. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty neat. They give you pillows with it. Yeah, what a, what a deal. I ain't never seen them. Uh... Just so when you break down, you can take a nap in the car. Yeah. <laughs> wow. See, the amount of pillows in here just shows you probably what it costs for the transmission. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh. You, you gonna paint it? No, this is painted. That's why I wanted it. I didn't want it in black. Oh, okay, gotcha. So this is what I chose with silver um, for this one, only because I really didn't want to deal with um, it looking black and having the whole motor be black, because my motor, my block will be black, and I wanted something that kind of sticks out, especially when you put that much money into a trans, it didn't want it just to look black. So what I'm going to do is lay out the pillows that we now have and uh, pull this thing oh. out. Hopefully I can lift it. Not in the motor, Dolphin. Oh, right. Mm -mm. No, I don't have one. Wow. Well, I got to say, packaging wise, that's a lot of pillows. What is that? That's six pillows? All right. Let me see. All right. So here's the transmission. Let's look at the notes that they put on there. Um, then I'll go over some of the things. So it's T850, Liberty Imprint Shaft, one first and second is uh, the straight cut uh, billet gears. It's got the billet three fourth shift fork. It's got the Works Carbon 234. And it's from, you know, FWD Performance. So let's see what they kind of include on here. Looks like they've got everything ready, everything's cleaned up. And it's just ready for me to Install everything. Looks like they may even have a new ball on there. New seals. So I'm gonna sit down and uh, I'll look at this a little closer, but everything seems good so far. It's in much better shape than my old one. And uh, I'll talk about all the things that is done to this transmission that should be able to handle, you know, the several hundred more horsepower than stock I should be pushing on these. And I think the only next step I can do on this would be all billet gears or doing like a dog box trans. So let me dive into it. All right, guys, so I want to talk about my drivetrain a little bit. Um, you know, I mentioned we got the T850 transmission for the Neon. Uh, I'm going to go over some of the things that uh, Cindy Lindsay, hopefully I pronounced that properly, uh, had mentioned that got done to it. I actually ordered this trans a few months ago. It's, it's about five grand for this transmission. Um, and if I wanted to do it myself, it'd probably be like three to four thousand in parts. It really, really isn't worth trying to do it myself, especially being inexperienced. So it's better to have them do it. They're a good name in that community. So let's talk about what they what they start with. Um, so the first thing is they take the case and again, I chose to keep my core and, and pay extra so that they Would uh, let me you know keep my old transmission. They didn't need a core Part of that reason is because mine is an 03 03 transmissions don't have a limit slip differential uh, So if I were to give I know my 03 as a core I'd have to pay for the LSD anyway, so really there's no benefit of giving them a good transmission I'd rather pay the difference and keep it plus I'll be able to use it and do a little refreshing on my own so the first thing they do with this one is they, they take the case, they blast it, and they paint it. They do black or silver. Uh, black seems like a pretty popular color for these, but I wanted to do silver. 
Uh, and then to get into like the really heart of this, the biggest thing is the Liberty input shaft, the billet input shaft um, from Liberty Gears. They're pretty popular in this community as well as other ones. Uh, so it's a factory size, factory spline, billet input shaft from Liberty. And it also came with straight cut first and second gear uh, that are billet as well. So they're you know made to last and take a little bit more abuse. Uh, on top of that, um, they went with the Liberty Full Billet 3-4 Shift Fork. And I apologize, I'm kind of reading off of this because, um, you know, it's been so long, I couldn't remember everything. So yeah, Liberty Full Billet 3-4 Shift Fork. So um, everybody knows that the 3-4 Shift Fork on these tends to be problematic where it can break and then cause issues. So they do a Full Billet Shift Fork as an upgrade on this. Uh, they did carbon blockers from P-Works on 2, 3, and 4. Uh, they do the, uh, they put new bearings in there from Timken for the differential bearings. Uh, new Mopar factory uh, axle seals. They go with the, um, they, they let us the best synchro sleeve installed on three and four, one and two sleeve flip for better teeth on two. So, so they have their own in-house things that they're doing um, that kind of improve things. Um, and they mentioned you know, they clean and deburr all the gears and polish them and make sure they're good to go. And then they add a billet shift selector and then a modified 135, you know, so we've got some fresh synchros, everything's good to go. Um, and this should be a nice solid um nice solid transmission for what i'm going to do i'm not thinking this is going to hold up to 1500 horsepower but i'd like to be in the 700 horsepower range and feel comfortable with it uh you know and that does lead to another discussion which i'm also going to mention in this video on top of the transmission the next thing to break uh you know as long as your clutch is, is still able to grab is your uh, cv axle so i'm going to show you what i got for those as well but i do want to thank uh FWB performance for getting the transmission to me so quickly uh, the way they package it, I think the pillows is a good idea. Um, it's really funny, you know, it's a cheap thing. These pillows are like three bucks a piece. And, um, you know, for, for 20 bucks, they got some really good packaging. It doesn't look like anything is broken or cracked. Obviously, I won't be installing this for a while. But again, thanks for that. Uh, I'm going to show you guys now the half shafts that I got and what they cost, what they run, and, and, you know, just about, you know, where I need to keep the power down. So let's jump into that. All right, guys. So there's the new transmission again. Here's my old one. I am gonna power wash this and clean it up. This is gonna look good when I'm done, but it's not gonna be, you know, Liberty input, all that stuff. I think it only has a gear extender in it. Um, but this was a fully functional, yeah, who did that? Oh God, some people's work, man, is just shoddy. Uh, but that should be fine. Uh, let's talk about the CV axle. So uh, in order to really have power, the next part that won't break if the input shaft doesn't break is your axles. So I did shop around. There's a couple different ones. I think Gator has an option for CV axles. And then there was a next step up. And honestly, for the, for the money, you can get the DCR ones cheaper than like the 1000 horsepower rated ones that were on like modern. So I went with them. I will say it took probably three or four months to get these. Um, hoping that they hold up well. I was comparing them to a factory one, which actually I have a new stock one uh, over here. Cause it came with one of my cars that I bought. So, when I was comparing them, I mean, you can tell just by the thickness of the steel here, it's a huge difference. I mean, it is, I should get a gauge and actually show you, but everything on these was just, you know, way different. I mean, you can tell that the cups are much bigger. Uh, everything here is just beefy. It's just ready to hold the power, so hopefully they won't snap. Um, Daryl and me and him have talked directly. He's, he's been really good for me. I know, you know, people have mixed reviews about him, but... You know, I spend enough money with him. He's always been responsive. He takes care of everything I ask, and he's been great. Um, he even threw in some free parts to go along with these because they took longer than what he was expecting. Didn't even ask him. He threw in some, some bushings and some bolts. Good guy in my book, and I appreciate that. Uh, this wasn't like surface rusting when I got it. It's just my greasy hands touching everything. Terrible idea. Um, I may even, you know, tape off where the sticker is and paint them just so it looks good. But all in all, I really like these. I think they're going to do well. Uh, he does lifetime warranty them. Granted, I know it can take time to get them if they break. I don't think I'll ever push enough power to break them. Uh, but at least it's one thing I don't have to worry about. And they were, I think, between twelve and thirteen hundred dollars for the pair, which compared to other ones is is pretty crazy. Um, expensive, but you know you get what you pay for. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is, you know, there is the intermediate shaft that comes out of the transmission. Now there isn't a lot of upgrade options for that. But I'm taking my factory one and I actually got one of his bearings that I'm going to press onto there. So uh, I'll have a stronger, heavier duty bearing that should be able to handle that power. So that's what I'm hoping for right now as far as the, the drivetrain is concerned. My clutch, I'm looking at still doing the six puck if I can. I may have to convert to a twin disc if I have problems with that in the future. But I'll be starting with the ACT um, 
six puck clutch and that whole set because it actually came on one of my cars so feel free to ask any questions you have about this i'm really excited to get my motor and everything back uh, from the shop i have the bottom end there now so that i can get all this stuff put together and i want to thank uh, fwd again for the pillow packaging um, i mean even in the box everything looks like it handled pretty well i don't see any damage um, no cracks in this and seeing as how it got shipped across the country that is that's saying something so anyway guys ask me any questions you got um, i'll keep you posted on the build i'm hoping the next update is going to be something related to the motor and then we can uh hopefully start putting some stuff together in the next few months god it takes forever for parts but anyway guys thanks again have a good one